Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. So I'm finally back with some more mobs from Massive Darkness 2, and these are the demons who are primed in skeleton bone. We're gonna be using some shades, some contrasts, some game air inks, stuff like that, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we're starting off with a mix of Karaberg Crimson and some Berserker Bloodshade. Now I saw someone who actually did this online and they said it was great to do the wings of like demons and stuff like that. So I did a 50-50 mix of this and as you can see it does do a great fleshy job on these wings. Uh, Karaberg Crimson has a little bit of a hint of reddish purple and the Berserker Bloodshade has a little bit more reddish to it, brownish to it. It kind of is similar to the Demon Brown by the uh, Instinct Colors by Scale75. Uh, but I want to test it out. And you know what? I love it. Targor Raid Shade now. Uh, this is going to be for the uh, leader's skin. So his face, those horns, his arms, all sorts of stuff. And this is the first time I used this Targor Raid Shade, I believe. Uh, and this is directly on skeleton bones, so it's not on white. Uh, so I want to see how these new contrast paints and new Citadel shades worked on different paints other than white. Uh, so this is the Army Painter Skeleton Bone Primer, and as you can see, this thing does a great job. Sometimes I'm actually more impressed with the shades than I am with the contrast paints with how they actually highlight properly. Anyways, that's just my opinion. Druki or Druchi Violet. Now we're going to be doing these on the Minions skin, so their horns, their face, their arms. Uh, and don't ma it doesn't matter if you get some of the armor as well. It's always good to sometimes paint with a base, like especially a shade or a contrast, because you can paint over it later on. It's not like speed paints who reactivate sometimes. It depends on the paint, of course. And uh, this way you're making sure that you don't leave behind any paint colors or markings and stuff like that you're not missing here. Don't forget to do the back of his head as well, or her head. Briar Queen Chill. Now, this part of the model was supposed to be white, so I could have painted it with an acrylic white and then put like the uh, soul blight gray. But to be honest, I want to give a little bit of color to these demons. I mean, yes, I could have just left them like that, but I want to pop a little bit more on the table and, uh, you know, do something a little different. I figured a Briar Queen Chill is kind of like a cold blue color. And on top of the skeleton bone, as you can see, it actually does a pretty good job of keeping that skeleton bone in the back. Did it make it a little bit more green? I don't think so. Anyways, you can try to do what you want. You can always use white, like I said, you know, or put like a light gray or something. Bahal Red now, the new Citadel color contrast paint. Uh, this is a beautiful red. It is a little too, like, just regular paint in a way. It's not really a contrast in my opinion. I did dull down the whole thing with some mixing medium to hopefully water it down or whatever and make it a little bit more. But I mean, this wasn't very detailed this area. So maybe on a very detailed miniature or section of a miniature would turn out really nice. Like maybe on the horns or something, you know, I don't know. Saigor Brown, now this is an old contrast paint. We've used this before many, many times. We're going to be using this on the staff of the mob leader, so that whole trident looking thing. And we're also going to put that on the staff of the um, uh, the minions as well. And yes, I'm getting the top bar where I'm going to be putting some metallics later, because again, you don't want to miss uh, any of the sections. You want to make sure everything is painted, undercoated, or based, or whatever you want to do for your layering later on. Of course, I don't do layering, really. I just paint on top of it. <laughs> it's not much harder than that. All right, some cobalt skin. Now we're going to be using this on the hooves and uh, those beautiful bones that are sticking out of those wings, just on the front part and a little bit of the top. So, and you just go very gently over this. You don't want to put too much on there. You just want to give it like a highlight. Use the stipple effect, I think is what it's called. You just like gently put it over. Uh, you can almost like dry brush this over the entire wing if you wanted to and it might hit some more of the, the, the fleshy parts. Uh, but this was just perfect. Just go with a, a nice little brush, soft and gentle and take your time on it. Do the same thing with the, the minions as well. Retributor armor now. We're going to be putting this on that wonderful armor. This is a beautiful gold color by Citadel or Games Workshop or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I'm also going to do... Um, the end of the spear here or the trident or whatever this is because it does have three points on it so it is a trident technically uh, as you can see it covers up that cygore brown beautifully and we're gonna do the same thing on the minions we're gonna do that nice beautiful chest plate here now she has a pauldron on one of her right shoulders there 
And also gonna do that fork that she has. I think she, we can call this a fork, I guess, or try it in two, who knows. Uh, Violet Volt for the eyes of the leader. This is a air paint from uh, Army Painter, it's very purple. Lemon Yellow from Vallejo model color for the other eyes on the uh, minions. And to finish off the entire miniatures, well, actually just the armor, is some cryptic armor shade gloss. So this one is glossy, it is not matte, so it will keep the shine on your armor. And to be honest, I've never used this on gold armor, and to be honest, I really like it. It does darken it down, but it keeps that shine, it's beautiful. And there you have it folks, the demons from Massive Darkness 2 Hellscape are painted and ready for the table. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.